Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. This comment came after much of the video we did about uh, them going after the government committee. So we said that going after the government committee is like a mirage, it's like distracting us that we don't think it's the wise thing to do and we think it's another propaganda to distract us because who are the government committees? This is an NGO affair. So the government committee came in. So if they came in, who inaugurated them? Which ministry are they working under? And uh, what is their nomenclature? So in order to cut the story short, we decided to what we'll be doing in this channel. I'll we'll be handling our comments and educating our, our, our subscribers. We'll be investigating and be contacting experts on questions so that. The subscribers will know their left and right and so that they will not be dissuaded by these propagandas and the uh, gullible nature the grand handlers are taking us to be if the president does now the the, the subscriber asked now if the president is not in charge of the money how come uag alleged every money domicile in cbn is under the president in it Take the president to say something, okay, takes the president to say something rather than blaming Ken, we must say the truth. Let president say or do something if UAG is lying against the president. Now, you don't expect the president to say something. Why? Because I bet you mean that president doesn't even know that UAG exists. President doesn't even know that UAG exists. Why? How the ministry works. The presidency does not have any portfolio attached to it. The presidency does not have any ministry attached to it. That is why even there is FCT minister to run the FCT. Even the CBN has a governor attached to it. The governor corresponds to the president. The president also has ministry of finance. All these people correspond to the president. The president like is a jobless human being. Literally. He employs experts to, to take care of expatriate jobs and they give him briefing to a layman understanding. The way they brief a layman about finance issue, even a woman in the market to understand. That is the function of the finance minister and the, uh, the, 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 the CBN governor and special advisor also on finance. So these are the people that handle finance affairs. The president is a novice and the presidency is a novice. Now, thank God you used the word allegedly. For me, and for according to the information we gathered, UAAG is alleging. They are accusing the presidency for knowing about UAAG, which the president don't. So you don't expect the president to address it because these people knows that the president will never address it and the president does not even have knowledge that is why they are using the presidency because it's a safe heavens for them now let's now come into this act this is the act that governs finance and cbn in nigeria federal republic of nigeria official gazette and this is this is a uh, this is it this is it is it the act of of of, of cbn this one is 2007 the latest one now he said there is established for nigeria a body a body known as the central bank of nigeria okay hereby in the act referred to as the bank the bank shall be a body incorporated with perpetual sessions se so okay so sections and a common seal and may sue and be sued in order to facilitate the achievement of his uh, mandated order in the art and uh, the bank and the official institutes okay what this is saying is giving the guidelines and according to this document which is guiding which is constitutional it says that the the the, the government the the cbn is autonomous the cbn is autonomous is the cbn governor is a governor and each governor is autonomous so every money in cbn is under the directive of cba cbn governor in extension minister of finance in case the presidency wants to come into it 
the governor or in his absence or one of the deputy nominated by him so the president nominates the cbn governor and the governor takes sole proprietor of everything that happens in the in the cbn affair and briefs the government as in the 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 president and that is why mfla is going down instead of buari going down because mfla happens to be an expert in finance president Tunu uh, buari doesn't know anything about finance so when he talks about a culpable action the president can be tagged as innocent because he has delegated somebody to do the work so coming alleging that the presidency is with the document of uaag is an alleged propaganda to the presidency because the presidency does not have the jurisdiction to hold that document the the, the president is the president have delegated that power to ministries so saying that the president appointed government committee for uaag grant is not true why because he's under a ministry either ministry of finance ministry of humanitarian ngo have a ministry they have a ministry governing ngo so the presidency cannot usurp the function of the ministry has appointed to take care of the ngo who is uaag is uaag bigger than the ng that ministry of humanitarian affairs technically UAAG is under Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. And mind you, UAAG is not registered with CAC. UAAG is a name. It's not registered with, with, with CAC. So technically speaking, UAAG is not in existence because it does not have UC, CAC. Let alone being an NGO. And if it's an NGO, it has to be duly registered with Minister uh, Ministry of Humanitarians and Corporate Affairs, Ministry of Humanitarians and the Internal Revenue. Which means any problem they have will be directed solely to the Ministry of Humanitarians. Then if they have any query, any qualms, humanitarians will delegate a committee that will handle it. So this alleged saying that uh, the, the, the government, which aspect of the government, they say the presidency appointed committee, it is not true. It is not true. And they are saying that the money is solely in CBN. No, if, if CBN has a money from the NGO, it's going to go through the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. CBN is a, a an independent body who is not answerable to a, an individual body. It's only answerable through a channel of a ministry. So saying that the Ken and UAAG and AGPN, AGPGN and the rest are corresponding to CBN, it is not true because CBN cannot correspond to a private individual. Not even an organization. CBN has to address any issue through the ministry to the mini to the individ to individual organization. So we have to get this straight. We have to get this straight. That why they are using this presidency and CBN is because they know that it's not going to be traceable. It's not going to be traceable. For example, if you want to take matter to the Senate, you have to pass through your constituency. You don't just jump to the Senate. So our constituency in terms of UAAG is UAAG have to deal straight with the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, not even to the federal, with the state first. Okay, let's say they are in Abuja. If it's in Abuja, it's going to be the under or the auspices of the federal capital territory before it now disseminates to different states. And mind you, under that Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, which UAAG presumably is under, there is still a, a body that encapsulates that of NGO, which UAAG has to be under. So, technically speaking now, UAAG doesn't even have the mandate to be directly under the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. They have to be under the umbrella of the NGO that is under the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. 
So all these things they are saying is an escape propaganda so that we will not kind of witch hunt them. See now, Madam Temit came out and was demanding for the document. They say is the presidency. It's over three weeks now, okay, two weeks or so. They are still finding out if it's really with the presidency. It's not going to be an easy task to find out if the document is really with the presidency because it's not under the presidency jurisdiction to handle any document. It has to be directly under a ministry. So, the earlier the, the subscribers open their eyes to see the game that is being played in this grand community, the better. That is why everybody wants to be a grant handler. And they don't disclose the, the name of the grant, they don't disclose the donor, they don't disclose for the purpose, they don't disclose the duration, and they don't disclose the modality for the grant. Keeping everything at bay so that they can easily deceive the, 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 the masses. So that is that. That is that. We have to be wise, make inquiry, consult. Consult. See that of a of a epic 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 uh, charity. They are fraud, but they did their homework. They have dropped their document with the Ministry of Humanitarians. So if you go there, you see the document. It's not under the presidency because the presidency has delegated that power to the humanitarian ministry. Anyway, dear subscribers, we have to be wise. We have decided to come out to be explaining things explicitly so that those who have here will here be wise and stop you know you know you know wasting their money see now the the pascal uh have come out i think that's the head of uh, the ngo presumably of uaag have come out and said for them to do that press conference they have to donate they have to donate money that is another way to exploit that is another way to get money. They are out of ways to, to exploit the beneficiaries. They are not bringing new ways to exploit the beneficiaries. Anyway, guys, let me rest my case here. See you on the other side. If you have any inquiry, any clarification, drop it in the description. See you.